Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dodge. Today I am going to discuss single responsibility principle which is the very first principle of solid design principle and I will explain all remaining four principles in my upcoming videos. So let's understand this first with very easy code example. Okay, so in my previous consolidated video of solid design principle, I have already explained all five principles with very easy example. But in this video, I will completely focus on single responsibility principle with, with new example and I will try to make it super easy to understand for you. Okay, so before starting single responsibility principle, if you already know about object oriented programming and object oriented principle that will really help you to understand all the solid design principle and if you are not aware about those then the link of those videos given in the description of this video you can go through okay so in solid responsibility principle we talk about object oriented concepts which start from classes or interfaces Previously I explained with interface, this time I will explain it with class. So we generally use classes and a class is designed to carry responsibilities, right? We can provide the state and behavior, all those things in the class. But what single responsibility principle says about it? So we should always try to keep it small and with single responsibility. And if our class is small and simple, it will be very easy for every people who is working on the project or within the team will be very helpful for them to understand easily and do the changes very easily. And that will also very helpful from the management point of view. You can easily manage the code if your class is small and simple, right? So according to the reputed American software engineer Robert C. Martin, which you also know him by name Uncle Bob, he officially defines this principle as a class should only have one reason to change, right? This is the golden statement of this principle, only one reason to change, right? For example, this is our class which is customer search. So by name, we easily understand this class is doing all the search operation. If you will see all the methods which are prefixed by plus symbol it means these are the public methods of this class and this is our class name this is the uml uh, demonstration okay so this is our class these are the three methods and these are search by country search by company name and search by contact name right so this is very simple one and it contains only single responsibility of search right but for example, a new requirement came and we also want to ex export this data to comma separated values file or you can say CSV or XLS file. So generally what we will do to quickly provide this feature, we just add one method export to CSV in the existing class. But if you will see in a long term vision, this can create problem in future, right? Now this class contains two responsibility one the search responsibility and the another one is export to csv or you can say the export responsibility and whenever you want to make some changes in this class so ultimately you are testing two things one the searching and the second is export so a change in either of those responsibility requires a change in the customer search class which is violation of single responsibility principle so this design issue can be corrected in the customer search class is by designing or adhering to the single responsibility principle so how can we do that if you will see the third version of it you will see we have a customer search class right that contains only the methods which are related to search that we have seen earlier search by country search by company name and search by contact name right and we will create another class with name customer data exporter and in that we can mention any type of export feature that our class should perform right so now this time every class has its own responsibility or you can say a single type of responsibility right in this way we can 
solve the problem of handling multiple responsibilities. I hope it is clear for you now how you can achieve the single responsibility and now if you will see carefully the customer search class remains unaffected by this change and customer data exporter require retesting means if you want to add one more method for example export to xml so in that case you don't need to test the customer search feature because you are not making any changes in the in this feature but you are making changes in this customer data exporter but if you are you know adding all these types of new features in the same class so in that case you have to test both of the things right so this is also giving us a very ease in managing the classes or you can say your piece of code right i hope it is clear for you now what is single responsibility and this is the example that i explained in my previous video where i discussed about how we can achieve single responsibility with the help of interfaces that i showcased earlier with the help of i report and i report to you know divide it into two part we want to add save to file method in the same interface this is again a violation in that case we can create another interface of i report saver okay so now few more golden statements about it so if you think about this single responsibility principle right you will realize that this is just another way to define cohesion and coupling we want to increase the cohesion between the things that change for a same region okay so it means we want to combine them or we want to apply cohesion in them right and we want to decrease the coupling or we want to make loosely coupled between those things that are changed for different reasons right so same we achieve with the customer same thing we are achieving with this report so another golden statement related to this single responsibility principle is we are we gather together the things that are changed for same reason and separate those things that change for different region right i hope it is much clear for you i tried my best to make it super simple so these are the classes right if you are working on any sp.net uh, entity framework program so you will be very familiar of this type of link queries but i was talking about these classes this is our customer search class it contains search by country search by company name and search by contact name and there is another class customer data exporter in that we can have export to csv we can add export to xml we can add export to pdf so right now there is no implementation but you can easily implement it right so if you have any question you can leave into the comment box i will try to reply on that as soon as possible so i strongly recommend you to give your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video where i will explain the next principle in detail which is open close principle okay till then bye bye take care